Calm down, Vega. Ah! <gasps> oh, Vega! Oh my god, this couldn't have gotten better. So alive and tonight I'm thinking about one hour. One hour. What's up guys, welcome to June Journey series. For those of you who don't know what June Journey is, I post every single day of the month of June. So that's 30 videos in 30 days. <sighs> if you want to keep up with all my June Journey videos, then make sure you are subscribed to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notified and don't miss out on any of my rest of the 25, 24 videos. I actually have two PR packages. One is from Simba Lifestyle, which I'm freaking excited to open because I love their brand. Then I also got sent another PR package from Debak. They're like a K-pop K-drama store. So I'm very excited to open all those packages. But, 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 before that, I did order a special food delivery. And yes, of course, you already know if you're watching this video what that is. I have the PTS meal with me right now. For any non armies who might be watching this, this meal is a product of BTS and McDonald's ka collaboration. I was so afraid initially that this won't be available in Bangalore, but thankfully it is and I got it through Swiggy. So shout out to Swiggy because I couldn't find any other places that were delivering in my area since I live in the outskirts. But yes, I have the packaging here. I'm gonna open it very carefully, probably um, frame this. This is how the outer packaging is. It has the beautiful purple BTS logo and peach it says the BTS meal. So let's quickly open this. Exact BTS me phatiya. Okay, okay. First I can see is the Cajun sauce here. I have no idea how this would taste. Napkins, straw and we have Fries, oh god, I'm so hungry. Fries, no special packaging for the fries, it's just good old McD. And we have the famous chicken nuggets. Funnily enough, I've never tried chicken nuggets from McDonald's. <laughs> oh god, I just love the entire branding that they've done. Look at the sides as well. Borahe, they've actually written Borahe. For non armies out there, Borahe means I purple you. It's a thing with BTS and armies. It's like I love you, but in BTS and army language. And we have the final sauce which is sweet chili sauce I think first I'm very curious to see what this Cajun sauce is gonna taste like carefully opening everything because I don't want to ruin it but the meal does not have anything outside the menu except these two sauces I believe oh it smells like like mayo and mustard mix taste test for the Cajun sauce it's quite sweet guys mmm I like it. I know for some reason I thought it's gonna be very chatpata like savory type. If you mix mayo and ketchup, the sweetness of ketchup, that's what I mean. Mmm, I like it. It's damn nice. Now let's also try the sweet chili sauce. Ooh, okay. Smells spicy. <laughs> Are Indians supposed to find this spicy? <laughs> I don't find it spicy at all. It's much sweeter than Cajun. If I have to pick between Cajun and sweet chili sauce, this is very sweet. Like for anyone who likes any sort of sweet sauces, you will really like this. I know for all armies, let's be real, we're not here for the food exactly. I mean, the food is a bonus, but we all just want to see the BTS branding all over McD. Let's try the chicken nuggets. I think I'll try it with Cajun sauce because I like it. Sweet chili sauce literally tastes like ketchup but sweeter and with a slight spicy aftertaste. Also guys, I completely forgot because this was kept in another packaging. They also have Coke. They gave this in a normal like Menti packaging. I wonder if the glass is... <gasps> oh, freak it is! Oh god, I can't believe I almost missed out on showing you guys this. How freaking beautiful. Oh lord, I am so glad I got this cup. This is like a cheaper version of the same cups that you get on Weavers, which is like 5,000 rupees. This one, on the other hand, we can get the joys in the small BTS McD cup. Wow, I would never get Coke delivered because firstly, it's messy. Secondly, most of the soda goes off, right? This is so pretty. I think McD should just consider making this a regular thing. Soda is there, not bad, but definitely not as fresh as when you get it from a bottle. Coke, though, obviously, I've had it before, but this, this is what I'm after, right? Okay, I'm back. Actually, it's been a while because I was finishing the food. I was chatting with my friends. Now I'm back and super, super excited to open these two packages. 
Uh, which one should we open? Okay, let's open Simba Lifestyle because I'm really curious to see what this is. I really have no idea. Look at the packaging. The color is so cute. Okay, so these are definitely notebooks because of the shape. I guess it's a new launch, right? Oh Lord, I am loving the color already. There are three notebooks. This is the first one. Just look at the color, guys. It's so stunning, so vibrant. So these are all ruled notebooks. For the second one, we have my new gossip partner. I'm just loving the entire aesthetic of both these covers. Literally my brand colors. And oh my God, this couldn't have gotten better guys. The last one is actually lavender or a pastel purple color. The last one says my brain has too many tabs open. <laughs> now that I think of it, all of them have like very 90s vibes. I'm a 90s kid. I was born in 95. Yes, our video game Game Boy type hota tha. Literally these box computers. And of course the flip phone. I mean, India mein to flip phone nahi aaya tha 90s mein if I remember correctly. I witnessed my first flip phone back in like 2006 or 7. Thank you so much Simba Lifestyle for sending these over. I honestly just feel like framing them because they're so stunning to look at. And even the quality of the cover, I really like how smooth and matte it is. I'm actually going to the Simba Lifestyle page. Do they have any updates? Oh, yes! Yes, they do new launch. I knew it had something to do with the 90s. It's literally called the 90s Batch Notebook. So these have 200 pages each and 80 GSM paper. And the set of three is for 450 rupees and a single notebook is for 199 rupees. I will link their page in the description box. And no, this was in no way sponsored. I literally didn't know I was receiving this. Now, next we have this package from Debak, which is actually a Korean word meaning awesome. What is with all this cute packaging that's coming with these products? I sort of know some of the things that I'm getting because they did ask like who's my bias which is my favorite K-drama so I'm pretty sure it'll be related to those things whoa okay I'm already getting excited calm down Vina ah! number one is this freaking poster oh it actually folded like I don't know if you can see the creases like even peaches say I'm sure you guys can make out the creases I think that's because the package probably got a bit wet since it's raining all over Bangalore oh Oh shit, this is so sad. So this is True Beauty, literally one of my top favorite K-dramas ever. Love, love the series. I'm just so sad that it has these marks. Like... I don't know if you guys can tell properly. Otherwise, these prints are perfect like in terms of quality of the paper and the print itself. But it's just really unfortunate that I think it did get a bit damp. Hence the creases. Then we have another rolled poster here. Oh, cute! Okay, so we have another OT7 picture right here. Wow, this is such a classy bookmark. Oh, I was wondering for a moment, what is this? And then I realized it's a scene from True Beauty. Let me know if you know which scene this is. This is this scene is freaking hilarious. I love it. But yeah, I love, love both these very minimalist and classy looking bookmarks. I highly suggest you guys try out these bookmarks. Oh yes, I remember they had asked me which is my favorite anime and I said Naruto. So we have a Naruto bookmark. This one is more like soft compared to this one. Like these ones are thick. This is slightly more, I think glossy paper mein bana hai isi liye. Two different types of paper. Oh, this is a dialogue from It's Okay To Not Be Okay. Again, one of my top favorite K-dramas. Okay, we have some photo cards. I don't know what is it about photo cards that K-pop fans get so freaking excited about. These are all these photo cards. We also, I think, have the OT7 here. Oh, this is from the Phila shoot. Oh, wow. I literally love this photo shoot so, so much. Like, I feel all of them look freaking great. And we have another set of photo cards and this is of Park Sojun. I love, love Park Sojun. I think this is one of my favorite pictures of his. Last but not the least, we have some freebies. Again, I'll link their details in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Support small businesses. Thank you so much for sending all of this over. I am so grateful and I'm glad I got to share it with all of you. Do give this video a big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, make sure you do subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon and be part of the Meg fam. And just 
join me in my hashtag June journey series. So stay tuned for more fun videos. Also, other than posting every single day on YouTube for the month of June, I'm also posting every single day on my Instagram. And I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram as well. And that's pretty much it. I will see you all in my next video. Till then, stay happy, positive and blessed and stay safe, guys. Bye. Oh.